Annyeong! Welcome to Delightful! I'm visiting home in Texas once again! When it comes to toy shopping, nothing beats American stores! And you may have heard that the new Generation 3 Monster High dolls hit toy shelves earlier this October. Needless to say, the doll community is psyched! I'm heading to Target with my mom to look at the new Monster High dolls! And it feels just like old times! <laughs> Our first stop, Super Target! We're in the toy section, scanning for dolls. Oop, that's not quite the right section. There they are! Hello, ghoulies! Now, obviously, as a fan, it's great to see our favorite ghouls back on shelves. But there are other reasons to be excited about Gen 3. First of all, it seems the high quality we all remember from Gen 1 has returned. Full articulation, love and care put into each design, rich in accessories and outfits. Secondly, and the thing everyone's talking about, is that these dolls have new body shapes. And I don't just mean they're different from the previous Monster High doll lines, they're actually different from doll to doll. So each character seems to have a unique body shape. They look so pretty! And I'm already in love with the redesign choices for our favorite ghouls. Long live Monster High! Okay, clearly I'm losing it over Monster High, but I should show you the other dolls too. There's a lot of great looking dolls available right now. No doubt they're stocking up for Christmas. These Mermaid dolls are pretty cool. I love the way they've styled the hair. There's also a generous amount of shelf space dedicated to Rainbow High. I really do love these dolls too. They designed the cutest outfits. If they had a life-sized line of clothes, I would definitely buy some Rainbow High bustiers and jackets for myself. <laughs> and sorry I totally skipped over Barbie's section. I tend to prefer more cartoonishly proportioned, fantasy-themed dolls as opposed to more realistic Barbies. Let's check out! Mom and I decided to check out the Walmart location too. Because when you're serious about toy hunting, you gotta hit up several locations. Here we are at the Walmart! There were tons of dolls here and an even bigger selection of Rainbow High dolls. Which one's your fave? <laughs> I like the little junior high. Their heads aren't quite as gigantic. I was tempted by this super pink sleepover doll and the mint green doll. My favorite colors! They had a bunch of these baby-faced LOL dolls too. Oh, she's practically a Harajuku fashion doll. But, notably, there were no Monster High dolls. Did they sign a Target exclusive contract or something? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, we hit up one more Target and I was able to find Draculara. I really wanted her. Try not to be the kind of person who buys an entire doll line just for the sake of making a YouTube video. I only get the dolls I really want. But they were all so cute this time, I left the store with more than I thought. Perhaps I should have shown more restraint. But darn it, I'm a working adult woman who can spend her paycheck in the toy section if she pleases! Thank you so much for shopping with me. My mom and I always get the giggles and have loads of fun when we go out, so I hope that rubbed off on you too. They'll all fit in my suitcase when I fly home to Korea, right? It's not like I need clothes or toiletries or anything. I'd love to unbox them and show you the details, but the fangirl in me wants to keep them in the box for just a bit longer. I like to display them and just admire them for a month or two, you know. <laughs> I know, I'm weird. Have you seen any of the new ghouls yet? There's a Twyla coming out soon and she looks so cute. Twyla is one of my favorite characters. Anyway, let's talk about it in the comments. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend! Stay artsy! Annyeong!